We're here to test a bike with ABS braking. Now, you may wonder what ABS stands for, anti-lock braking system. It's the thing that stops you from skidding all over the spot in a car when you panic brake, just like Kaylee oh, did yeah. on the bike. That oh, was yeah. it without the system in gear on it. Yeah, so basically without ABS, traditional disc brake, powerful disc brake, like on the front of this e-bike here, I could fly over the handlebars if I truly wanted to. Oh, if I had kept going, if I had not let go of my front brake there, I would have ended up... Kissing me. Dave. Yeah, on top of Dave, which is not exactly what you want. I would prefer, personally, to be able to come to a controlled stop in front of Dave without flying over my handlebars. Should we see what it's like with the system switched on? Yeah, we need to go find the guy that knows how to change the thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to do a stoppy here. Wow, that's pretty cool actually. That's legitimately pretty cool. It's a hydraulic brake, right? So there's a, there's, a, there's a master cylinder in here. There's a hydraulic line that runs out of there. It goes into this box, the magic box where the magic happens and then out and into the front brake. Now, an analog braking system, essentially what it's doing is it's preventing front wheel lockup. So this whole, the system is sensing whether that front wheel is about to lock up on you or set, in this case, send you over the handlebars, which is something that doesn't happen in a car. So it's sensing that and determining how much brake power to push into that lower caliper, all in essentially real time. I mean, in, you know, the, 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 the latency on these things, and these, these systems is so, so short now. You're talking little, little bits of milliseconds that it's way faster than my brain could ever figure it out. Cat, no fear. Let's see how close I can get to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sprint at me. It's pretty nifty. That's quite impressive. It's really impressive. It needs a bit of work to shrink it down though, I think. I mean, this is definitely, I think this is an e-bike kind of application, right? I mean, first and foremost, in any performance bike, you you want to control the brakes, really. Uh, you know, you want to be able to feather them and, and all this rest of stuff. But, uh, but on an e-bike, you know, where the consumer, or the buyer of an e-bike like this is, is maybe not quite as adept with their brakes as uh, Dave and I, for example, people who have been riding bikes their entire lives, I think it's a pretty fascinating technology. It really is. To be able to integrate this into a, a proper e-bike like they have with the batteries and the motors, well, it's going to take a couple of years. I'm Well, maybe not. We'll have to talk to these guys, find out, but eventually make it look a little bit more slick than a zip-tied box onto the top of a top tube. Well, so Bosch already has a anti-lock braking system. I think it's the only e-bike brand that has one, but it is, it's sort of a big box that sits up here and it's not particularly good looking. So this one, they're saying that once, you know, this is obviously sort of a prototype version, once they shrink some things and, you know, you can put that inside a top tube, right? The whole system is built into the same electronics as the rest of the e-bike and, well, you could have a relatively sleek anti-lock braking system, which wouldn't activate all the time. I mean, I was just rolling around here and you can feel it doesn't really do much if you just sort of lightly hit the front brake. It's not gonna hit all the time. It's just like with your car, right? Your car, your ABS only engages when you really need it, when otherwise your, your tires would be squealing and you know skidding across the road. So this is exactly the same thing. It only activates when I slam on that front brake and it only works on the front brake because the rear, you know, almost no braking power out of the rear anyway. So anybody who's ever, had to use their analog brakes uh, in a car, which anybody who lives somewhere where it snows, I'm sure you've had this happen. You can feel it through the brake pedal, right? You can actually feel it kind of jiggling and wiggling at you. Same thing in here. You can feel clearly something is happening with the hydraulic pressure uh, inside this box. You can feel when the system is engaging and you can kind of feel your, your... It's, it's essentially what you would do as a, as a very skilled cyclist, right? You sort of feathering that brake, that's the term, but it's doing it for you automatically and far better than honestly I could really ever do on my own. Yeah, my very succinct opinion of this uh, ABS bicycle brake system, it's kind of awesome. It's for impressive. For this particular use case, it is really cool. And I can, I, you know, I, I think about my mother when I think e-bikes, right? Uh, she really wants one. I feel like I should probably get her one. If I was gonna get her one, I would want it to have an ABS system. This is gonna help keep her upright. And I like it when my mother stays upright on her bicycle. So I am in favor of this technology, wholly in favor for this particular application. I second that.